so if we go to first year first, mm -hmm. where did you where was, did you stay in your first years? Accommodation, <laughs> accommodation. Yeah, home, <laughs> home park. Mm -hmm. You both stayed in home park. Oh no, no, I stayed in like Regis. You stayed in home park. Four, four. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, can you give me some up and downs about where you live? Oh, can yeah. I give you? <laughs> Where do we start? <laughs> Where do I begin? Oh, okay, obviously, um, accommodation-wise, I had chosen Lyme Regis because of um, its financial stability. Personally, for me, it was it was that was decent enough. I wanted an ensuite because you know, for for personal reasons, I wasn't ready to just share a shower with people I do not know yet, and um, ease of access as well. Uh, land uh, because a lot of the accommodation is is in one area. A lot of the students are together, so you have a lot of the shops there. You got a big ass dose right next to the station. Mm. It was very um, situated well. Yeah, it was, it was situated very well, and mm. and we also do get the buses that come down to uni. So whenever you wanted, just go across. It just yeah. just go across. Yeah, if you have the card, if you have the card, yeah, yeah, card. it was free. <laughs> free though, is it? Uh, yeah, it comes with your rent. It comes with your rent mm. if, uh, if, you, if 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 you, you choose option, if you yeah. choose to do it. And I would suggest you you choose your accommodation well enough that you can get a bus card because you'll think oh i can i can cycle to uni but then you'll get those days where it's like Long you cycles. just want to take the bus so yeah. definitely think about getting a bus with your accommodation it will it will save you a lot so of time sure. and make it easier for, for you downs of languages <laughs> Yeah, um, so 2018 to 2019 students know how <laughs> Lime Regis was. Uh, oh, some days, the, oh, holes, you have to get used to fire alarms. You, <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be sleeping 3 a.m. one day and just beep out of nowhere, you're waking up. And you, you have to follow the protocol for your so own you safety. So you say that's your year or just that's in general? In general, in like general. in any holes, I think you home yeah, park as well, there, there were days where you just, you just, it just happens. The fire alarms trip and you just have to make it a part of your life. Like, yeah, you uh, go with yeah it. because so it is again for your safety. Um, I mean, there were personal issues with the building itself with Lime Regis. They were sorted out eventually. Oh, okay. And um, it's better now from yeah. what I've heard. They, yeah, refurbished, they refurbished it. It was good. Um, I, and I was actually very lucky with my flatmates. I've, I lived with very, very good people. We didn't really have any conflict. Um, we did share some food some days. We did go out some days together, uh, and that's not uh, that's not a lot. It's not what a lot of people gather from it. But I, I I definitely experienced a good time in Lyme, and even now I still talk to some of the flatmates I see, or even like in the building. Mm -hmm. You do you do pop by sometimes. You see something like oh you know what are you say this is that like oh is your is your hot water running today too. <laughs> 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 Or like you know, just you going out tonight type thing. Yeah, I'll definitely say like holes is is quite the eye opener and um, and you'll experience the up and downs with it too. But that's just the fun of it. Isn't yeah. it? But holes is also good. Is that's where you meet most of your friends, and mm -hmm. that's like who you're gonna go with for second year as well. And um, it's just an easier way of just meeting people. You meet your flatmates, and then like I said, you go out, you meet more people. But it's just continues. So that's, give me some home park ups and downs. Ups. Uh, it's beautiful. Ups. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's nice. No, no, definitely it was nice. Um, a little expensive though. Um, mm. I only chose it because the student finance was like, it's gave me nine cash. <laughs> 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 they was a baller, isn't it? <laughs> but um, there wasn't really much downs to be fair. Um, it's pretty good then. No, it was definitely a good accommodation, but just a bit expensive. And that's so it's the price more. Yeah, yeah it's literally just the price is a bit too much. So second year now, mm -hmm. where are we staying? Um, so I live uh, in in a house this year, uh, closer to uni, because I thought it would just be better for my course that I can just easily get out. I get up. 30 minutes, I get ready and I can just walk 15 minutes across to campus, oh, okay. do my thing, walk back. Easy. Yeah, and um, actually the, the good thing about Bournemouth itself, because uh, Bournemouth is is put into different boroughs, so you've got, you know, like, 
I'm in Winton, and most poor. students would be in poor, Charminster, mm. um, uh, West Cliff, and all those areas. With Winton and Charminster, they do have high streets. They have their own individual high streets oh. away from town, so uh, you do have like a big little uh, just in on the Winton High Street, and it's cheap for students to, to shop for. So you're in a little, little town. Yeah, right? yeah, you are. You're in your own little town. Yeah, you're not too far from uni, and you're you're. It does. It does become a, a fairly bit cheaper if you want to live in a house, but obviously that would depend on the house, the house itself, it yeah. and um, if but you're sharing a shower now. Uh yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Uh well, <laughs> the house. Uh, it's 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 good fun actually. Like, no, um, because for me again, I I made the choice of if I'm gonna stay with people, I want to. I took the time with the first year to get to know people. I you know see. How does this person live? How well would I be compatible? Would we be having conflict? Can I easily communicate with said person if I feel there's a problem? Uh, so all in all, there is there is no squabbles here and there. I mean, the, the kitchen gets messy as you do. The shower gets messy as you do. But I mean, it's, it's five guys in one house. So uh, it, it honestly depends on on the person you're on the on the, on the people, people with. you're with. And how well you 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 communicate. Obviously, not voicing your own, but communicating mm -hmm. is is the key here. You need to be able to talk as a as a whole group and come to differences. Like you know, like okay, cool. Today you do bins. Make sure you don't leave your plates here, there, and there. This person uses this shower that, and you just it's just. It's just like it's just like an agreement, really. Yeah, mm. yeah, hundred percent. Correct. Where are you um, living current, now? Currently, I'm living in Bellington. Uh, it's a new building, which was a bad choice. Um, first year, basically, first year, I had nowhere to go. I didn't know who to go with, uh, and my mate Daniel was like, "Oh, come, 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 <laughs> live in Bellington." I was like, "Cool." And it actually, at the end of the day, it was my, it was my fault that I didn't look at the papers, the, the money they had to pay, and so it, it sort of like just, just messed me over. And um, why? How? I was just, I was just like, yeah, whatever, just sign me up. It was literally just like that. So, so. what are they? Okay, so what are the ups about Bellington? Ups are you've got your own gym. It's it's blessed. You've got your own gym. Um, you have your own study room. What else is there? There's a um, cinema. Yeah, there's a cinema room as well. You're right next to Asda as well. Yeah, and you're right next to. So it's, you're literally in the center of everything you need. And the dance. Downs of fire alarm goes off way too many times for stupid reasons as well. Uh, one of them, somebody bought their chicken nuggets. <laughs> Don't know how that's possible. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, it's decent. The stuff there is pretty, like, very, very nice. I'd say, like, so especially I, for me, because I'm struggling to pay rent at the moment, and they're, like, like being flexible with it. So I'd say the people that work there are good. So with the nugget situation, how did you know that mm -hmm. happened? Oh, somebody told me. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knew it was like somebody burned their chicken legs. Like, it's kind so of just the smoke of the chicken legs. And it brought three, three um, fire engines. For burning chicken legs. For burning chicken, chicken nuggets. nuggets yeah. Yeah. You, oh, yeah, you'll need to learn how to cook as well, innit? <laughs> and, and it's electric hub, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's electric hub, so you can't really go wrong. No. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> so